DC vs Marvel. Regardless of which side you're on in this age-old battle, you can't deny that these two have been the undisputed giants of the comic book universe for as long as most of us can remember. Unless you're like a hundred and remember the 1930s when DC was Detective Comics and Marvel was Timely Comics. I could go into the ins and outs of the golden age of comics and the rise of superheroes in the 30s, 40s and 50s. But in the context of Marvel vs DC, all you need to know is that DC came first and it dominated the superhero genre that entire time. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the Justice League, DC was unstoppable. While America was fighting overseas during World War II, most superheroes were also fighting the Nazis and the Japanese in the comics. So when the war ended in 1945, the supervillain foes were vanquished as well. In 1960, Atlas was renamed Marvel as it decided to take one more shot at the superhero genre. That's when Stanley arrived in 1961 to literally create the Marvel Universe as we know it today. This changed everything. Up until then, superheroes were known for being practically perfect in all ways. They had a flawless sense of integrity and ethics, always knew right from wrong, and everything they did was to fight evil and protect the good. Stanley flipped that script. Enter the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Suddenly, Marvel superheroes were flawed, like humans. They were relatable, they were no longer these godly beings who represented everything we knew we should be. They were just like us, except they had superpowers, which spoke directly to a baby boomer generation already disillusioned to the American ideals that most DC superheroes embodied. Marvel was the liberal side of the superhero market and DC was the conservative side. Marvel had cultural and sexual diversity, while DC was still stuck in the past. Enter the Incredible Hulk, Doctor Strange, Thor, Daredevil, the X-Men, and the Amazing Spider-Man. The end of the 60s marked the end of the Civil Age of Comics as well as the end of DC's dominance. Marvel was back on top and DC was scrambling. The Bronze Age began with DC taking a page out of Marvel's book. They made their superheroes more relatable and focused on social political issues. It worked briefly to close the sales gap but Marvel was still on top. This led to a successful collaboration between DC and Marvel in 1976 that had rival ending implications. The product of this collaboration, Superman vs. The Amazing Spider-Man. Finally, two giants working together to benefit the comic book industry as a whole. A hundred page special edition that was a bestseller. However, with the departure of DC's editorial director, Carmine Infantino, they never made it to a sequel. Both DC and Marvel were on their own again. This led to another devastating implosion for comics in the late 1970s that was saved only by the rise of movies, TV shows, and toy sales. In 1978, DC Superman, the movie starring Christopher Reeves, kickstarted the superhero movie boom that became the foundation of the current popularity of superheroes. After four Superman films in the 70s and 80s, two Superman TV shows in the 90s, and four Batman movies, DC had taken over dominance in the superhero market. DC had also delved into more serious and complex storytelling, targeting an older audience with edgy narratives such as Alan Moore's Watchmen. On the other hand, Marvel was going through a slump. They filed for bankruptcy and didn't have a production company until 1996. In 2000, Marvel exploded onto the scene with the first X-Men movie. X-Men established a financial and tonal foundation for Marvel's brand that extends to this day. DC clapped back in 2005 with Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins, which brought the darkness and grittiness back to superhero movies that audiences desperately craved. So much so that the success of the new Batman series overshadowed that of Marvel's Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, and Fantastic Four films. But DC would ultimately prove to be no match for the Marvel Universe. Sure, in recent years, DC has continued to find some success with its old faithfuls, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. But the movies have been very hit or miss. Marvel, on the other hand, has had consistent successes with multiple X-Men and Avengers movies over the last two decades. Not to mention the spin-offs and origin stories branching off of both of those series. So, in the age-old DC-Marvel rivalry, Marvel seems to be safely seated at the top of the superhero game. Marvel is going to be tough to dethrone. 
However, as history has certainly shown, it only takes one hit to swing the pendulum back in DC's direction.